What is up? Man, long time no see. I just ate some bread. We are going to discuss the same thing we discussed in the last video. And you're probably like, oh, why? But I just want to go over one more example, and then I'm going to be, like, showing you how to do it. It's going to be sweet. All right, so, we talked about it in the last video, but never actually talked about the join conditions very much. So I'm going to go over a new example in this video. Let's do this. So, we're going to have a user table, not a customer table. User table, and then we're going to have a comment table and a video table. So think of like a video sharing website, like, uh, what's that one called? Starts with a U. I don't know. But anyways, we have a table here. We also have a table here. We also have a table right there. All right. And these are all connected, right? Boom, boom, boom. And I'm just going to write the name of the table. I'm not going to really write any comments in here. This is low on space. So we got the user got the comment and then we got the video so the the only way the user has any connection with the video is through the comment table because a user posts a comment on a video does that make sense hopefully it does I don't even know why I ask you that still I'm trying to stop it's driving me crazy what are the join conditions for this if we want to do an inner join let's discuss the conditions and also the results we should expect okay so Let's just define the keys that are going to connect these tables. So we have a user ID, and then we're going to have a comment ID, and then a user ID, and then a video ID, and then this video ID will be referenced in this uh, table by a video ID. Okay, now if you think of this as a many-to-many -many relationship between the user and the video, you could potentially get rid of the comment ID and just use the combination of user ID and video ID, but that is not the best way to do it. One user could post multiple comments on one video. So, you see like uh, if we had this comment table we could have user ID and then we could have video ID and then we could have comment. And we could have the user ID was 7, video ID was 106 and the comment was Lame, and then the user ID of 7, video ID of 106 could be JK. So, this is a bad idea. You wouldn't want to use those combined. Unless you are working on some kind of thing where you can only leave like one review on a product, the same set of just user review product or user review whatever. In that case, you could use user ID combined with the product ID or the video ID to allow that, but I'm going to use the comment ID in this and this is going to be a surrogate ID that's going to be used as the primary key and these are only going to be foreign keys. The user ID and the video ID, they're only going to be foreign keys and they're not going to be part of a compound, uh, or a, a compound key in any sort of way. They're just another column that's a foreign key referencing a table just so you guys understand the structure of how I set this up. Alright, now there's going to be a join condition right here, which basically a join condition is what columns are in both tables, right? You don't always have to say user ID equals user ID, or customer ID equals customer ID, or comment equals comment ID. You can do other stuff with like greater than, less than, and all those fancy things, but we're just going to be using equals because it's the most common one and it's the easiest to understand. The one here is going to be the user ID. So we're going to have user.user ID and it's equal to comment.user ID. This is the first join condition. Now for this, we're going to have a second join condition between these two. And the only thing we can use is the video ID because it's the only thing in both tables. So we're basically going to have a comment dot video ID equals video dot video ID. We gotta say what table they're in because they're in multiple tables. So we have to use the dot syntax. Table dot column equal to table dot column. I know you guys probably can't even read that, I wrote it so small, but it's okay. As long as you understand 
this is the joint this is the joint condition for these two and this is the joint condition for these two when you join these you're going to join them by those columns and now what about not null and null columns what are they going to be returned as well the way we have it structured a uh, user can comment on as many videos as they want so they can be in the comment table multiple times so we got one to many there now a comment can only be posted by one user and can only be posted on one video because each individual comment is going to be a separate row in the comment table so for uh, video ID we're gonna have that set to not null and also for user ID we're gonna have that set to not null that's because there should never be a comment that doesn't exist on a video and there should never be a comment on a video that wasn't posted by a user right now for video we don't necessarily have to have comments on it so there's nothing we need to worry about that just like a user we don't have to worry about having to have a comment so the only time we need to put not null is on these two columns to make sure the comments exist with everything they need you see the user ID would be not null is because every user is a user and every video is a video but we don't have to say every user has to comment that would make it impractical so that's the setup for the not null and um, the relationship types so then when we do an inner join in this case what are we going to get well I just want to think about that for a little so we can kind of understand what our end result is going to be. So what do we, what do we want? Well, we want a table that looks like... Now I move this up a little bit. Ugh. We want a table that looks like this. And that's because we wouldn't want it any other shape, right? <laughs> I'm just teasing. But basically, we're going to take the user with the user ID, and likely we'll have more information about them, such as their username. So if you wanted, you could also include that in the uh, table which would likely be done from the beginning because you likely do your joins and stuff after that so make sure you put your username in there you don't have to add that in there because then half your users won't have a username and half of them will which isn't good so username from the beginning <laughs> you'd likely include your username and then we'll likely include um, the comment so we would need to include the actual comment in the comment table the reason I didn't put these in there earlier because I just wanted to think about the keys for now, but now we can put those in there. So that's since we're designing this, right? And then we also want the um, video title. And maybe a link. But we'll just go with the title for now. So these are the three columns that we would want to include. And we could have uh, set it up in a table. And each individual row is going to be a new comment. Well, let's see, let's think about what can be excluded from this. So then we can decide which ones actually will be excluded. Well, let's just ask questions. Can a user be excluded? Well, if we're using an inner join, we're only going to return users that posted a comment on a video. So yes, any user that did not post a comment will not be included. Now, what about videos. Will videos be excluded? Well, since it's an inner join, we're not going to include any videos that do not have a comment from a user. So, yes, videos can be excluded. They likely will. So, videos, we're just going to put x by to say that it can be excluded. Users can be excluded. Now, can comments be excluded? Well, let's think about each individual key. We have the, uh, or the uh, foreign keys user ID which is labeled as not null so that means every single comment is going to have a user and also the video ID is not null so every single comment is going to have a video so in this situation all of the comments will be returned so we can't remove those so within here every single comment is going to be included so if we had uh, 10 comments we're going to have them labeled 1 through 10 we actually want to label them but we would have all 10 of them there and then only some users would show up here 
and all of their comments, all the comments would show up in this column. So it would be like, like, it'd be like, 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 and lame. And then the video title, only some videos are going to be included here. Uh, <laughs> Pizza. Subscribe. That's how that's going to work, and let's just uh, see how that goes. So, uh, yeah. Let's see this in action. Here I have some snapshots of some tables I created, and uh, I'll just be illustrating this and I'll be uh, drawing on the screen as needed. And uh, I have one of them Wacom tablets, and if I am drawing all over the place, it's because I haven't installed the software, not because I can't write better than a kindergartner. Alright, so let's begin. Here we have what would be like a user table or something. Uh, we got the user ID, email, username, and the pass, which is like just encrypted basically. And um, this is going to be joined with the uh, comment table over here. I mean, sorry, that's the video table. Hear me. This is the comment table. All right, so here we got each comment and foreign keys to the user ID and the video ID, as well as the actual comment. And then we have the video table. The video table has the title of the video and also the description, which would go like under the video or on the side or appended to the title, whatever you want to do for your website. And um, this is just what the video is about, right? And as you can see, I'm advertising my database design course, which is pretty awesome, right? And what we want to do is we just want to uh, join these so we have the username, the title, and the comment all from three different tables. So the username comes from the user table right here. And then the title comes from the video title right here. And then finally, um, the comment comes from the comment table right here. So let's go back to the joined table. What we want to do is, is if we're using, let's say, the comment table, we want to replace the user ID with the username and the, the video ID with the title. So let's look at the, the comment table. We want to replace all these numbers in the user ID column with the username, which means we have to reference the user table. And then the video ID we want to replace with the video name, which means we'll have to reference the uh, video table. And then the comment ID, that's just the primary key for this table. All right, so let's just kind of look at how this works. So yeah, this is how it works. The username from the user table, the title from the uh, video table, and the comment from the comment table. Now let's go through how the join looks. I have all the tables here now. It's kind of small, so sorry if you can't see well. But we have the join table right here. This is the joined table. That's the join. Then we have the comment, the user, and we have the video. And we're going to basically just borrow some columns. So the title that's going to come from the uh, video. So I'm just going to go over here. Do, 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 do. It's going to come from over here. And then the, um, the username is going to come from up here. And then finally we have the comment. And the comment is going to come from right over here. If you can even see that, probably not. Okay, so there's a couple things though. Not all of the columns uh, values are included, so not every single row. That's because this is an inner join. Now, uh, if you look at the username, we got all guy pizza. Let's follow this user. So let's go to the user table. We got all sky pizza right there. Then we got, if we keep going down this table, we got ha 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 12. Which of course is um use my mouse now right there. Then we got Pablo is all dot dot dot, which is Pablo is awesome. Then we got milk and coo, which is milk and cookies. 
And then we got yellow swag, ha, which is yellow swag hashtag. <laughs> yellow swag, sorry. And then we got, I don't even know what that says, which is this person right here, best, best speller in the world. <laughs> okay, I made these a while ago. So, <laughs> so you can see these two people though, they're not included. That's because it's an inner join and they are not part of the end result. Now let's look at the videos. So we got the videos. We got database design. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where is it? Where's eight though? I don't see an eight on here. Well, you can see eight on the video side right here. It's not included. So eight is not included. Basically, we're taking uh, different columns from different tables, but not every single row is included. That's because it's they don't meet the qualifications for the inner join. So the syntax or something like this would be like this. So I have the select and then the username, title, and the comment. These are all from different three tables, but um, it might vary on how it looks for your database management system, but it'll look something like this. And then from the user, comment, and video table. And we just do the inner join. Inner join the comment by the user ID and the comment user ID and then the inner join of video by the video video ID being the same as the comment video ID. So yep, that's that guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Even though even though my drawing literally looked like uh, a drunk animal. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> just just forgive me for that one. Uh, my, my handwriting is just just awful. That's all I can say. It's awful. It's, it's hideous. Ah! Ah!